Where have you been? Uh, you, you, you must have been out early. I couldn't sleep. I wanted to get everything off my chest. So I, I went to the police station. Well, have you been charged? Not yet. I've given them a full statement. I, I won't know what the charges will be until they've done further investigations. I hope your statement wasn't as damning as the one you made in the pub yesterday. Well, I told the truth. You shouldn't have said anything without our solicitor being there. You do realise you could go to prison for this. Well, maybe it's what I deserve. Uh, you'd do better to keep your head down and stay right out of it. I suppose we should be grateful that Bob seems to be in the firing line more than you. He doesn't deserve to be. At least he's trying to do something to help. I was thinking I, I might go along and help with his clean-up operation. What, after your outburst in the pub? Are you mad? If you set foot in the village, it's likely you'd get lynched. No, maybe Chrissy's right. We should all be seen doing what we can to help. Oh, <laughs> considering it was your affair that started this whole mess, it'll take a lot more than that to wash away your guilt. Blaming each other is not going to help. At least Bob's doing something practical. And I was thinking I, I'd support him. I'll come. No, Robert. We are not a couple anymore. This is just something that I need to do on my own. I just wanted to come and see if I could help with the meeting. Well, the best way you can do that is to stay away. Nothing any of us can do is going to bring Val or Ruby back. They aren't even buried yet. Have some respect for people's feelings. I don't believe it. You've got some nerve showing your face around this village. Look, I, I understand how you must feel. No, if you did, you wouldn't be here. Because it's down to you that Ruby's dead. I, I am so sorry. <sighs> I wasn't expecting to see you today. I was getting so angry after reading this. He suggested coming in here for a drink. Calm me down. It's better than sitting there brooding about him. He's right. Look, you've got loads of mates in this village. We all want to help you through it. I am not drinking in the same pub as her. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. <sighs> it's funny that, because that's exactly what you said when your son ruined Alicia's life. You're a murderer. If it wasn't for you, Ruby, it'd still be alive. That's enough. You get in the back room. Look. No, shut up and do as you're told. Just causing trouble in here. And I'll deal with you later. As for the rest of you, I am not having you turn my pub into a boxing ring. Do I make myself clear? Thank you for, for rescuing me. I don't know what you're doing here. You must have known how people would feel after yesterday. I think I just... I wanted to face up to what I'd done and... But it was brave. Even if it was stupid. When we talked about Robert, I never... I never thought it would end up like this. Yeah, well, that's one reason I've got any sympathy <sighs> for you. That little rat ruined my son's life, too. So it could have been me torching his car. I hate him just as much as you do. He warned me not to come down here. He was telling me how sorry he is about everything that's happened. You know, he's... He's actually trying to help me through this. If you're falling for his lies again, then you're even more stupid than I thought. You need to get your head together, girl. Robert is poison. You need to get him out of your life before he drags you down any further. What more does he have to do? Just kick the little creep out. <laughs> 